Ready? Choose ready. Stand by. Welcome back to Wise Man Company, everybody. I'm Ben, and today I have a comparison video for you. We haven't done a comparison video in a long time, if ever. No, have we ever done a comparison video? I don't think uh, shotguns versus everything else. I don't think we've ever done one, but uh, this is going to be a comparison video. Today we're going to do one with the Holosun 510C and the EOTech 512. Very similar red dots, holographic sights, but Full disclosure, right off the bat, I don't have a lot of good to say about the 512 compared to the 510C. Okay, so I chose the 512 from EOTech because that was the most competitive price point to this Holosun 510C. This Holosun you can get right around $300 depending on where you shop, which is really good. The 512 new is right around $450, $400 depending on where you shop. Full disclosure, I got this one used for around $300. Bucks. So I didn't get this one free and this one is a buddies of mine. So I have no problem hating on either one of these. Battery life. That's probably going to be the biggest comparison and the biggest drastic difference between these two optics. It just seems like EOTech cannot figure out the technology to improve battery life. And this 512 is one of their better optics for battery life. You can get a thousand hours with lithium batteries for this EOTech and a thousand hours is just over a month. Now wait for it. The 510C has over 50,000 hours which is roughly five and a half years depending on how you use it. The Holosun does use a mixture of solar and battery power. It uses CR2032 battery which is a little disc battery similar to a watch battery and this one is using two big honkin AA batteries. So batteries lead us into our next point which is weight and profile. The Holosun 510C is definitely smaller than the 512. It's 8 ounces and only 3 inches long. The 512 is just over 5 inches long and 11 and a half ounces so there's a good difference there in profile and weight. Again, in an age and in an industry where everyone's trying to be lighter, stronger, faster, EOTech just seems to kind of drag behind, which doesn't make a lot of sense in my mind. And I'm not a hater on EOTechs at all. I've used them in the past. I obviously use one currently, um, but it just seems like it would make sense to try to be competitive in the battery life and profile arena. Okay, so those were some of the specs. Let's get into some of the features that I like and don't like about each optic. And the 510C is first. There's a lot of features packed into this optic. It's great. It has their Shake Awake technology, which is awesome. For those of you that you don't know what the Shake Awake technology is, if this has been sitting for a while, the, the dot will shut off. But when you pick it up or move it rapidly, the dot will come back on. This saves battery. It's awesome. The 510C comes with a QD mount, so it's quick detach. Great feature. No extra dinero for that QD feature. Um, they just built it right in. It gives you an absolute co-witness with your iron sights if you're running iron sights with this optic. The reticle on this 510C, clean, crisp, not hazy at all, not fuzzy, just a super clean reticle. We shot this up close and out past 100 yards, obviously no issues just point and click. 
Speaking of reticles, you get three different reticles with this optic, not just your two MOA dot with a 65 MOA ring, like your classic EOTech. You have that, you can just run the two MOA dot, or you can just run the 65 MOA ring if that's your speed. And lastly, this optic, the 510C, has two night vision settings. Awesome. They just give you that right out of the gate. Awesome feature to have. Even if you don't have night vision, you might be getting it in the future. Why not have those settings built right into the optic? All right, some of the features I like about the EOTech. It's made in the USA, yay! And that's about it. Okay, final thoughts. Both these optics are awesome. I'm not, I'm not just bashing on this one. This one is hard to ignore though, the 510C. There's a ton of features that they give you in this optic. And the price point is stellar compared to some of the other stuff that's available. It's just loaded with features, which is awesome. The 512 isn't bad, but again, it's just a, a little behind in some of the areas where you would think it would be easy to improve on. Durability wise, this wasn't a durability test. EOTEX are proven, battle proven. Uh, they've been used by law enforcement all over the country. Time will tell how the 510C will do. I have nothing to report on my end. Both these of these optics ran great when we were shooting them. So time will tell on durability. Guys, if you could leave me a comment down below which one you like and why, I'd really like to know. I feel like Hollow Sun's just getting warmed up as far as optics go. They make a lot of great stuff and this 510C is no different. So leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. EOTech for life or Hollow Sun 510C. I'd be really excited to hear your opinion. If you like this video, hit that like button. Please share it with your buddies. Go check us out on Instagram and Facebook. We have a ton of great content over there and we'd love to interact with you. If you want to support Wise Men Company, the best way to do it is go to wisemancompany.com. We have a lot of great products over there. Go check that out. Guys, I'm Ben and we'll see you on the next video.